Greetings and salutations and mates, Tarl the Mad here for another episode of Fallout 4. Uh, as you remember from the last video, I just started making my run to the vault. Um, I believe in this one it's uh, Vault 111. So, alrighty then. Rifles are generally long of average size and require two hands to fire. They include, but not limited to, the assault rifle, combat rifle, combat shotgun, double barrel shotgun, hunting rifle, laser musket, and submachine gun. Nice. I would not have thought the submachine gun would have fallen into the rifle. <clears throat> Alright. Now, let's see. I've been told and I've read that you don't really want to dally or uh, go slow here. You want to just run. I don't really want to. I guess you shouldn't talk to your neighbors. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know how it actually affects your game, but I'm told you can end your game here by dying. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Look at that power armor. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Hunt. We're almost there. Step on the platform in the center. See, I just have this natural curiosity. I, I want to see everything, but, you know. Okay, I'm now here, so I can look around. Both of you. We love you, too. Oh, holy cow. Hold on. Yeah, come on, get us down. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Got a blast shield up there. I was like, oh man, that's not good. Can I? The uh, shockwave could have toasted us. Hey there. We didn't know. Again. Alright, again, I want to apologize for the language in this. Uh, I know I'm, I try to stay uh, family friendly and not curse and all that, but uh, sometimes the games we play do. Okay. Wow, this is pretty common sense. Thanks. Alright, everything okay? All right. Hey there. What, what's going on? Hey there. See, I I just have this thing where I like to talk to everybody. Excuse me. Head inside. Just up the stairs there. Hi, Captain. Excuse me. Up the stairs. You sound like you're from Boston. Okay. Very patronizing of you. Like you scared me. Huh. 
kind of makes me wonder. It's like you say the same thing at the airport. Alright, alright, I'm coming. It's down uh, the hallway right thanks. There. What now? Just follow the doctor's lead. He'll show you where to go. Alright, you two. Follow me. Alright, I'm following you, Doc. Hey there. What's our new home? Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get to first. Yes, sir. Are you free? The ball yes, check is over here. Here is for the future, right? But the loved ones are your future. I feel so like there's a new home. Hey there. Just step in here and put your ball key in. Just step into the chair. That is my dear. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. All set? Just step inside. Hey, hon. Go ahead. I just want to give Sean a moment. Huh? Decontamination pod. Before we head deeper into the home, just a few of us. Time for a whole new life. Residence secure. Occupant items normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. And we're betrayed. Um, what's going on? I wonder what he means by backup. Sounds kind of ominous, actually. Started the mission out of time. Exit Vault 111. All right, control panel. Come on, come on, come on! Oh God! Uh 
find who did this. And I'll get your family. I promise. Okay, so she's dead. They killed my wife. Now I shall fight them and get revenge. Okay. Monitoring terminal. Let's see what it says. Alright. <clears throat> Cryogenic array. A flying premature termination resulted in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected controls disabled. Oh, delightful. What about life support? All flying. Oh boy. Um, let's see, that's where I was supposed to be, I believe. Oh no. Oh, okay. I, I just now noticed that I was in pod 7. Alright, oh, yeah, looks like all these people are deceased. Let's see. Let's check Mr. Russell. What about me? Huh. Alright, and of course the important ones give us our whole story. Unknown. Alright. So, everybody's dead, except for this one which is empty. Okay. I know I'm breathing heavy. I'm like cold and stuff. I'm not portable water access. Can't look around. Yeah, I have a feeling that I'm gonna spin. Ooh, clipboard. I can take it. Yeah. I learned from other Fallout games. You never know when something is going to be useful. So, you must act like a kinder and take everything that isn't nailed down. And if you have a crowbar, take that too. I would want to do this. Hello? Anyone? Alright, let's check this monitoring terminal. Alright, we know that. That's offline, okay. Alright, I'm not going to bother checking all of these. Uh, it's obvious that uh, everybody's dead due to a cryogenic malfunction, which was more than likely dead. caused on purpose. Okay, this is where we came in. I just like checking all the rooms, because you never know when you're going to find something useful. Plus, you know, ew, is that a rad roach? I 
can't actually do anything. Oh yeah, security baton. Nice. Get me a weapon. Okay, this door is open. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and take it all. I don't smoke, but I'm sure we'll find somebody who uh, might trade for it. Nothing in the desk. Security terminal. Security instructions. Confidential. Security eyes only. Let's see. 111 is designed to test long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with all operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Ooh. Wow. Operations. Residents and Mittens. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> I am not going to read all this. My voice just couldn't hold up to it, even if I was 100%. But, you know, you guys can always uh, pause and read it. Wow. Wow. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in crisis. Holy cow. I see, this is a, a lot different than, or at least the setup for this vault was a lot different than I remember the other ones being. So, yeah. Short-term assignment. Hmm. Interesting. Security logs. Wow, there's not many. Not even a year's worth. 180 days. Oh, that's about six months or so. Okay. Uh, gosh, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Egg Hicks tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a good experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that they're that we were smiling at them all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? Oh, so the overseers like me does appreciate this. Christmas Underground. Got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. This gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. And then the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. Uh, are they hiding something from us? Another company secret only for the higher ups. Whatever. Just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through, then we can start rebuilding. Hmm. 
Only a few weeks left under mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying the all clear signal is never coming. Can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months. Tops. Excuse me. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door to his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security won't. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. Oh. No all clear from vault is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a darn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Ooh, goodness, excuse me. I apologize for that. That's what happens to me when I drink root beer. Okay. Let's see, do I have... No, I don't have any hollow tapes. Wow. Um... That's just <clears throat> see I never read any of this uh before when uh well not too much with like Fallout three or Fallout La uh Las Vegas. Is it Las Vegas or Las Vegas? I, I don't know. Okay, that's the direction I'm supposed to be going. What about going this way? Ooh, bulking hammer, screwdriver, wrench, nothing in the toolbox. Oop, another wrench. Tools are always good. A sliding door, unacceptable. Huh. Okay. And thought are yes thing. Alright. Get this out just in case. Those are rad roaches. Those things can be bad. Well, if there's a bunch of them. They're usually pretty easy to kill. See? Like right there. We're gonna go whack. Alright. Giant roaches? What the hell? Might as well take it. Uh huh. Coffee cup. Ooh, what was that? Another security baton, just in case. Okie dokie. Let me get a drink of water. Alright. What, no folding chair? Darn, I was hoping I could pick it up and use it like a wrestler. Alright. I'll take the coffee cup. I don't know if those are empty or not. I'm gonna try not to. Now I'm going to stick to my guns of uh, being straight edge and try not to drink any alcohol in game either. But you never know what you might have to do, just, you know. Probably trade them. Let's see. Recreation terminal. What's in it? Okay. Overseer memo. Top 10. 
Rick, Tim, TGM, SAE, SQV, TN, MTCL, TDT, SDT, QQQ. <laughs> Funny. Play tape. Okay, it's Red Menace. I don't feel like playing it, but I will go ahead and inject it. Take it. Because you never know when something like that will be useful. Key nothing in the fridge. Sequence it. Hot plate. Can I open up any of the cabinets? No, that's not fair. Ooh, I have a toaster. I can be toast. Let's see, can I? Ow, oh, looks like nobody sees a shower in a while either. Okay. Now, what I'll probably do is finish exploring this room, and before I go into the next session. Section. Now we're not gonna sleep. Don't feel like. I'm looking for useful stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get the paper and stuff on the floor. Did anybody leave anything I can use? No, I don't want to set. Give me stuff. I still can't jump. Alright. Okay. Only other thing I can do is go in there. So, <clears throat> I don't actually want to take too long on the first one. At least, in no red virgin. So, we are going to go ahead and stop here. Yep, I should be able to see. Woohoo! Alright. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining me for another episode. Uh, hopefully it'll start to get a little more entertaining, a little more action, because it is Fallout, and it is about action being a first-person perspective game. So, remember, Fallout 4, it's just a game. So, escape the vault, kill the road ratches, and don't die. Until next time, bye!